in terms of CGT, um, the, the observation I normally make when talking to people about structuring businesses is you don't worry about CGT unless there is a real chance that you're going to be able to sell. Um, I know that a lot of uh, business structuring conversations I've had, um, to keep things very simple, you could say to somebody, um, what's more important to you, tax on income or tax on capital gains? Um, because if it's tax on income, then I reckon a company's the right thing for you. If it's tax on capital gains, then I don't reckon a company's the right thing for you, I reckon it's a trust. Um, because they're better from a capital gains tax perspective. Which one do you want? And people say, both. Um, the way it works. In terms of minimising CGT for professional practices, I know that it is getting harder and harder to get people to buy into professional practices. Um, my old man's an accountant in Adelaide and he sold his practice on the 30th of June last year. It had been very, very hard for him to find someone to buy his practice. Um, it may well be that you never get a chance to sell your practice. It may well be that you participate in a no goodwill practice where the practice between the participants is that they treat the structure as if the value of the goodwill is negligible, um, thinking that all the goodwill accrues to the individual participants. In those situations, there are still sometimes sales. So I could have a no goodwill practice, Sherbert Newman, no goodwill practice. We might be gobbled up by another larger law firm. We might sell, we might make a capital gain. So even though you might think that you don't have a capital gain, or more particularly, you've probably seen the clients that have said to you um, when you've been structuring something, um, capital gains aren't important, I'm never going to be able to sell, and then when they come to sell and you tell them they can't get any concessions because of the structure in place, they say, why didn't you tell me about that? Um, so you probably do want to plan for, for capital gains to be able to be minimised. Um, in terms of effective structures from a capital gains tax perspective, obviously individuals are easiest, partnership of individuals is next easiest, discretionary trust is next easiest, partnership of discretionary trusts, unit trusts and companies, in that order. Um, in terms of minimising capital gains tax, the first port of call is generally the general discount, which is why companies are bad, they don't get it. Um, if you did choose to have a company, the point that I make to people is that you want to make sure that you can sell the shares in the company. Mm -hmm.